Hello everyone. Welcome back again to our English classes. Today we'll begin with page number 27. As in my previous session, I have already discussed about the author and introduction to the chapter and even page number 24 and 25 we already we have discussed and even uh, 26 and 27 also so today we will be discussing page number 27 last line this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in canoes on main lakes fishing for landlocked salmon bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing on the Deschutes and Metolius in Oregon, fishing for salmon on the Columbia at Bumping Lake in the Cascades. Now here author just is trying to portray about his own experience which he had in the pool and he was almost now frightened of it and he, ne he is just describing here that he was almost afraid of everything because he had such kind of terror like uh, the experience he had in that pool almost create a great fear in his mind now he couldn't enjoy anything as if no fishing in new hampshire and uh, even he could not go for fishing for salmon in columbia and uh, like to enjoy in bumping lake in cascades so everything like he almost have sacrificed and he couldn't go for it so wherever I went, the haunting fear of the water followed me. It ruined my fishing trips, deprived me of the joy of canoeing, boating and swimming. Now he's saying everything because this haunting fear have almost snatched everything from me. Almost ruined everything like fishing trips and even he was just deprived of uh, like joy of canoeing and boating and swimming. I used every way I knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip. Finally one October I decided to get an instructor and learn to swim. Now he's saying I just used to uh, like every time I used to think that uh, I have to overcome this fear but finally as if I was totally in uh, firmly in its grip but finally I just decided in October that I have to overcome this fear and for that I'll just hire an instructor and I'll learn swimming. So I went to a pool and practiced five days a week an hour each day. Now I went to a pool and just started practicing and five days in a week I used to practice and hour, an hour in a day also. The instructor put a belt around me a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable that means like he used to teach with that uh, kind of a belt like he had like a pulley and uh, that he used to just tie around his waist and he used to put him uh, in into the water and through that pulley he used to go back and forth and just he tried to swim so that kind of uh, like instruction he used to give to just follow and uh, a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran onto overhead cable and through a overhead cable it was just like rotated so he used to go and uh, just try for that swimming to learn he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool now back and forth i used to go with that pulley and almost like i was having a safety belt so i don't have to be afraid of anything like i'll fall or something and even an instructor was there so i was completely now fearless and how are after hour, day after day, week after week, on each trip across the pool, a bit of the panic seized me. Now, whenever I used to have this trip, I was learning, that is a different thing. But then too, I was like, sometimes I used to feel that a panic used to seize me up, like I was under some terror. So each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the, on the rope and I went under, some of the old terror returned and my legs froze. Now when I used to go inside water, like just under water and I used to feel as if like 
my legs are freezing and i couldn't move my legs it was 3 months before the tension began to slack then he taught me to put my face under water now i was as if he came to know that i am in tension whenever i used to go uh, into water so he just started like he taught me that you go uh, like you just go inside the water and put your face under the water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale now he used to say like you just exhale just uh, like uh, put out your breath and then take in so he used to make me practice for that like my nose to inhale i repeated the exercise hundreds of time like i used to inhale then i used to exhale so that usually i used to practice bit by bit i shed part of the panic that seized me when my head went under water now bit by bit anyhow i shed that part like i started losing as if uh, now i don't have any kind of ter- terror i used to feel like that whenever i used to go under water next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs for weeks i did just that at first my legs refused to work but they re- gradually relaxed and finally i could command them now next when like held me uh, at the side of the pool he just made me um, like to come just si- edge of the pool and i was just to st- like uh, in water itself he told me to practice to kick my legs and weeks just i did that only so at first my legs used to refuse but gradually like like i was feeling as if like relaxed and finally i had a good command over it thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole in april he said now you can swim dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke now piece by piece he created a swimmer and finally he told me that he have perfected each piece and now he would be able to swim across as if in april he told him so that you can swim anywhere and you can crawl any stroke so i did the instructor was finished and now i did that that means i did and instructor have finished his work but i was not finished i still wondered if i would be terror strike in when i was alone in the pool i tried it i it, i swam the length of the up and down tiny vestiges of the whole terror would return but now i could frown and say to the terror trying to scare me a hey, well here's to you look and off i had to go another length of the pool but i know i was not finished and i used to wonder that if like uh, this tr- uh, i am terror stricken and uh, now i cannot go into the pool alone that fear i was having so i thought that just to swam swam length uh, up and down and then also like i used to feel that tiny vestiges means tiny part of a terror is just trying to haunt me but that terror is returning back i used to feel but then i just completely thought of to scare that terror itself and just to ask that look if you just want to like haunt me i just wish to tell you is that now i can and i can go for another length of the pool that means i know how to fight so that is why i am not at all afraid of you i just wanted to tell this went on until july but i was still not satisfied i was not sure that all the terror had left so i went to lake wentworth in new hampshire dived off a dock at trigg's island and swam into 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island i swam i swam the crawl breast breast stroke side stroke and the back stroke now what did i do is that i went until july i just practiced it but i was not satisfied so one day i just decided to go to lang just to lake wentworth in new hampshire and try there like my some strokes and really i felt so good as if i was able to crawl i was just able to go for breast stroke side stroke and even back stroke so i was just feeling very good at that time as if now i am not at all in terror only once did the terror return when i was in the middle of the lake but yes i would like to tell is that that once like terror i felt that yes it is returned back when i was in middle of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water the old sensation returned in miniature i laughed and said well mr terror what do you think 
you can do to me i it fled and i swam on now when i was just putting my face under the water bottomless water and then only i felt that old sensation it returned in miniature means just in a small portion so i simply laughed and said well mr terror i want to tell you that you cannot do this to me and simply i felt that it fled that means that terror went away and i started swimming now i am swimming and swimming yet i had residual doubts at my first opportunity i hurried west went up to the titan to conrad meadows up the conrad creek trail to meet glacier and camped in the high meadows by the side of the warm lake now one day like to just uh, take Uh, like in uh, consideration my doubts i went i just wanted one opportunity that was first opportunity i went up to titan conrad meadows and just i camped there i because i just wanted to swim in that warm lake too so the next morning i stripped dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back just as dog corporon used to do now a big swimmer a great swimmer dog corporon he usually used to do in same manner i also went there i stripped into lake and i swam shore just forth and back and i came i shouted with joy and gilbert peak returned the echo i had conquered my fear of water now standing on that gilbert peak i just shouted and uh, that scream only returned into the form of echo and i just said that i had conquered my fear of water now water cannot like frighten me so the experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate my experience had a deep meaning this only the person who have experienced this can only appreciate me in death there is peace but not the people those who think that in death there is peace means who just don't want to fight that person cannot admire or adore me but the person who have done this only can appreciate me there is a terror only in the fear of death now terror is only where in the death if we have a fear of death then only a terror can haunt us otherwise no terror can haunt us as roosevelt knew when he said all we have to fear is fear itself as well said by franklin roosevelt like he said uh, that yes fear where is fear all we have to fear is fear itself means no fear is there only if we have fear in our mind then only we can be haunted by anything otherwise nothing can frighten us because i had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce the will to live somehow grew in intensity but yes the person who have a will power to live nobody can defeat him so if you are just that much like you have a will power that yes i want to live so anyhow you'll struggle you'll fight back and yes definitely you will return to your life at last i felt released free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear now each and everything each and every aspect and uh, like activities i started enjoying because my fear was almost almost finished and i just like conquered each and every fear so now i was fearless so this is all about the chapter i hope you understood well and uh, here the chapter is finished so all the best thank you